Ever wonder how deer multiply in the wild? Well, you're about to find out. The engaging world of deer reproduction is one that is filled with intrigue and beauty, a testament to the wonders of nature. As we delve into the life cycle of these graceful creatures, we focus on a critical period known as the rut, or mating season, a time of high stakes and intense competition. Deer, like many other species, have a specific season for reproduction. This season, known as the rut, is a fascinating period where the tranquil world of the deer transforms into a stage for dramatic displays of strength and endurance. During this time, the males, or bucks, engage in fierce battles for the right to mate with the females, or does. The clashing of antlers can be heard echoing through the forest, a clear signal that the rut is in full swing. However, the rut is not just about these spectacular battles. It is also a time when deer engage in a variety of behaviors that are crucial for their survival. Bucks will mark their territory with scent, a clear warning to rivals to stay away. Does, on the other hand, will signal their readiness to mate through subtle changes in behavior, a fascinating dance of nature that ensures the survival of their species. But the story of deer reproduction doesn't end with the rut. After successful mating, the doe carries the fawn for about seven months, a period known as gestation. Throughout this time, she nourishes and protects her unborn fawn, preparing for the moment when she will bring new life into the world. The process of deer reproduction is a complex and fascinating one, filled with moments of intense drama and quiet beauty. It's a testament to the intricate balance of nature, where every element plays a critical role in the survival of a species. For these majestic creatures, reproduction is not only about survival, but also a fascinating display of nature's wonders. The rut is a deer's mating season, and it's all about love, competition, and survival. The rut, a word derived from the Latin rutrum, which means raw, is the annual period when deer mate. It's a fascinating and intense time that plays out like a dramatic opera in the wilderness. The stage is set, the players are ready, and the performance is about to begin. Male deer, or bucks, prepare for the rut in several ways. As the days shorten and the first hints of autumn creep into the air, hormonal changes trigger the growth of antlers. These antlers, a sign of strength and maturity, are not just for show. They're a buck's primary weapon during the rut, used for intimidating rivals and fighting for the right to mate with females. Bucks also increase their body mass in preparation for the rut. They bulk up, eating as much as they can to store energy. This is essential as they spend much of the rut in vigorous activities, like fighting and chasing does, leaving little time for foraging. They need this stored energy to sustain them during this exhausting period. Then comes the actual rut. It's a time filled with the sounds of clashing antlers, bristling fur, and the deep guttural grunts of bucks. It's a spectacle of dominance, where bucks engage in fierce fights, locking antlers and pushing against each other in a test of strength. These battles can be brutal, but they're a necessary part of the rut. They help establish a hierarchy among bucks, a pecking order that determines who gets to mate. The strongest, most determined bucks, those who've prepared well and fought hard, earn the right to reproduce. They get to pass on their genes, contributing to the next generation of deer. So the rut is a time of intense competition, where only the strongest and most determined bucks get the chance to reproduce. It's a time of love, yes, but also a time of struggle and survival, a testament to the harsh yet beautiful realities of life in the wild. While bucks are busy fighting and showing off, does or female deer have their own vital role in deer reproduction. During the rut, which is the deer mating season, does come into estrus, a short period of receptivity to mating. This usually lasts for just a day or two, and it is during this time that a doe will choose her mate. But she doesn't just pick any buck. No, she's discerning, often selecting the strongest, most dominant buck she can find. This behavior ensures that her offspring will inherit the best possible genes for survival. But how does a doe signal her readiness to mate? Well, she secretes pheromones, or chemical signals, that bucks can smell. These signals let bucks know that she's ready to mate and attract them to her. Once a buck has been chosen, the pair will mate, sometimes more than once, to ensure successful fertilization. 
but the doe's role doesn't end there. After mating, she enters a gestation period that lasts for about six and a half months. During this time, she nourishes and protects the developing fawn inside her. She'll often isolate herself from the rest of the herd, seeking out a quiet, secluded spot where she can give birth in peace. When the time comes, she'll deliver her fawn or fawns if she's carrying twins, which is not uncommon. The birth is usually quick, and the doe will immediately begin to clean and care for her newborn. She'll stay with her fawn, nursing and protecting it until it's strong enough to join the herd. So does are not just passive participants in the rut. They have their own strategies and roles to play. Their choices and actions are crucial to the survival of their offspring and ultimately the continuation of the deer population. They are the unsung heroes of deer reproduction, quietly ensuring the future of their species. Now, let's talk about the adorable result of all this competition and mating, the fawns. The birth of a fawn is a magical moment in the cycle of deer life. This delicate creature, often weighing less than 10 pounds, is the culmination of a process that began with the rut, the deer mating season. Hidden away in a safe, secluded spot, a doe gives birth to her fawn, her contribution to the continuity of her species. In the initial hours and days, the fawn's survival hinges on the mother's care and protection. The doe nurtures her fawn, feeding it with her rich, nutritious milk. This milk, packed with essential nutrients, helps the fawn to gain strength and rapidly grow. Learning to walk is a pivotal milestone for the fawn. Within just a few hours of birth, the fawn makes its first attempts at standing. It's a shaky start, but with each passing hour, the fawn becomes steadier on its feet. This quick development is crucial to evade potential predators. Soon enough, the fawn begins to explore the world around it, always under the watchful eye of its mother. This is when the fawn learns the art of foraging. It follows its mother, mimicking her as she picks her way through the forest, nibbling on vegetation. The fawn learns what to eat and what to avoid, essential knowledge for its survival. As the weeks turn into months, the fawn's adorable spots start to fade, replaced by a uniform coat more suited to an adult deer. This physical transformation is a sign that the fawn is approaching independence. It's a bittersweet moment for the doe, as she watches her fawn, now almost as big as her, venture off on its own. The fawn's journey from birth to independence is one of rapid growth, filled with learning and adaptation. It's a testament to the resilience of these creatures and their unyielding will to survive and thrive. The birth and growth of fawns is a testament to the incredible cycle of life that deer experience. Understanding deer reproduction is not just interesting, it's also important for conservation efforts. Why, you may ask? Well, it's fairly simple. By gaining insights into this fascinating process, we are better equipped to manage deer populations and protect their habitats. Deer play a vital role in the ecosystem. They are a source of food for many predators, and their grazing habits help to control vegetation. However, an overpopulation of deer can lead to devastating effects on the environment, such as overgrazing and habitat destruction. This is where our understanding of deer reproduction comes into play. By understanding the reproductive habits of these creatures, we can implement effective population control strategies. For instance, knowing that most doe give birth to one or two fawns per year helps us estimate the potential growth of a deer population. This information, combined with data on mortality rates and predation, allows us to predict population trends and adjust hunting quotas or other management strategies accordingly. Moreover, understanding deer reproduction can help us combat diseases that affect deer populations. Chronic Wasting Disease, or CWD, is a prime example. This fatal disease affects the brain and nervous system of deer, and it's believed to be transmitted during mating or through contact with infected birth materials. By comprehending the mating habits and reproductive cycles of deer, we can better predict disease outbreaks and take preventative measures. Additionally, this knowledge also aids in the preservation of deer habitats. If we understand when and where deer mate and give birth, we can protect these crucial areas during sensitive times, ensuring that deer can reproduce safely and successfully. In essence, understanding deer reproduction goes beyond mere academic interest. 
It's a crucial tool in our arsenal for wildlife conservation, population management, disease prevention and habitat protection. As we comprehend the intricate process of deer reproduction, we become more equipped to ensure their survival and the health of our ecosystems. So, there you have it, the intricate and fascinating world of deer reproduction. We've traced the path of deer love from the initial mating rituals, where bucks and does come together in an annual dance of nature. We've delved into the significant role that the doe plays in the reproductive cycle, nurturing the fawn in her womb and then caring for it after birth. We've followed the journey of the fawns, from their birth to their growth into full-fledged deer. We've also touched upon the importance of understanding this process, not just for the sake of knowledge, but also for the conservation and survival of these majestic beasts, in a world where every species plays its part in the grand scheme of things. Understanding the life cycle of each one, like the deer, is key. We hope this journey into the world of deer reproduction has been as fascinating for you 